Hello. In this session, we will look at an example for the Terraform data source. So in total, we will see two examples for uh, the data source. In this session, we will see one example. Uh, in the next session, we will look at another example as to how we can make use of the data source. So for this particular example, uh, we will be referring the VPC that is already available in the AWS. So we'll, we'll fetch the information about the VPC and we'll use that information to uh, create our uh, resources using Terraform. So let's look at this example. Now here, if you look at my AWS console, I have one uh, VPC and I have named it as my default VPC. Now I want to create my resources in this VPC. Now one way we can do this is, is I can simply hard code this value within my configuration files and I can create the resources. But Generally, that is not how we write the Terraform code. Uh, we should avoid hard coding as much as possible. And this is where we can make use of the Terraform data source to fetch this information automatically from the console. And then we can use that information within the configuration file to create our resources. So here, these are the files that uh, we will be using as part of this example. So uh, we've already looked at how you can break your uh, configuration files into separate separate files. So here, if you see, I'm maintaining a file for the data source, one for the resource block, the provider block. Here I will have all my variables and this is where all the variables will be defined. Now, let's look at each of these uh, one by one. So first we we'll look at your uh, provider block. So here, this is the provider block that I am using so let's create this provider block in my uh, server so here we'll be creating a few files so main.tf then provider.tf we'll have the data.tf uh, we'll have the variables.tf and then we'll have the terraform.tf bar so basically files for the respective blocks now we will start off with the provider block where i will define my provider section so aws and uh, the region i want to create these resources is us east one so this becomes my provider block next i'm going to define my uh, data block so the the resource the vpc resource that we want to refer so the data block this is what we are going to use in my data block so the data that i want to refer is aws underscore vpc and let's give it a local name. So let's call this as existing VPC. All right. And then how are you going to differentiate? So let's say you have multiple VPC. So you should be able to differentiate as to, you know, which VPC you want to pick. So in this case, we are making use of a filter over here. So the filter we are going to specify is the name. Now, what is the name? So we are telling, look for a tag with the key name. So here we are saying, look for a tag with the key name and the value we are looking for is so the value we are looking for is default now here if you say i'm using uppercase however in my uh, vpc it is a lowercase uh, d so we'll we'll use this one accordingly so depending on what you have you have to make sure that you're providing the right information so here we will say default and we will close the body so what this will do is this will basically go to my aws console it look for a vpc with the key name and the value default and it will store the information about that vpc in this local name okay so that this becomes my data source block then let's define some uh, variables so the variables that we are going to use would be this one so we are using two variables one for the EC2 instance type and the other for the AMI. So let me just copy this and I will provide it over here. So one is the EC2 instance type. The data type is string. I'm giving the description and EC2 AMI. Again, the data type is string and the description. Now the values for this, we will be defining it within our uh, terraform.tf vars in this file. Okay, so let's open up this file. And so we have defined uh, two variables. One is this EC2 instance type and the value for this will be t2.micro. Micro. And likewise, the second variable we have is this and we will uh, specify the value 
over here. Now the AMI value, I'll take it from my console. So here I'll open up my EC2 service and uh, I'll take an example AMI for this. So let's wait for this to load. And uh, here, this is my instances. And let's click on that. This is the instance we have. And I will take the AMI. So this is the AMI information. We'll provide that over here. Okay. So this becomes my variable values. All right. Now, the last thing we have to do is define our main block, which is basically the resources that we want to create. So let's go to this uh, nano main.pf. Now within this file, this is where uh, we will be defining as to what exactly needs to be done. So first here I'm defining a resource block for my security group. So I'm creating a security group over here. So that's the security group. We are giving it a name, a name, a description. And here, if you see, this is where we are calling the VPC ID. So the data source block that we have defined, we are picking the value from there. So you can see here data dot, that's the data source. This is the local name I have given and then I'm telling give me the ID. So what will happen here is when, when, when it comes to this block, Terraform will fetch the value from this data source block and replace it with the actual value for this VPC ID. So what will happen here is this security group will get created in the VPC ID that we have uh, defined in the data source block. And then we are uh, uh, adding a couple of rules. So one is the HTTP, the other is SSH, all right. And then we will define one more uh, resource block, which is for launching an EC2 instance. So here, this particular block, we are creating an instance. So this is where we are using the variable. So the variables that we have defined in the variables.tf file. And for the VPC security groups, we are fetching it from this resource block. So we are calling whatever the security group we have created over here, we are calling that. So we will be assigning it here uh, when we are launching that instance. So let me save this. And this basically um, is all the configurations that we have. Now let's initialize this. So Terraform in it. So this will initialize our code. Once the code is initialized, you can generate a plan, you can apply and you can start creating the resources. And this is where you can make use of the data source block. So let's generate a plan for this and see what exactly this is uh, doing. So Terraform plan. Let's wait for the plan. Okay, I might be missing a S here. So this should be values. Okay, and let's try this once again. And this is the plan. All right. So here, if you see, we are creating uh, two resources. One is the instance. So here, this becomes my uh, instance. And then we are creating our security group. So here, this is my security group. Now here for this security group, if you remember, we have defined our data block for the VPC ID. And here you can see it is replacing it with the actual value. So this is where we can make use of your data source block to fetch the information about the existing resources. So here you can see this is ending with 914E. And here also this is 914E. So now what we are doing is we are using the existing information that is already available in my AWS platform. And we are using that to refer and create other resources using Terraform. So let's quickly apply this. So Terraform apply and I'll auto approve this. So uh, it won't uh, wait for me to approve it. So let's just wait for the resource to be created. Just waiting for the resource to be created.
it is still creating so just waiting for that and done so here you can see it says two resource added and now if you go and check our console right so let's go to the instances and if you go to the security groups we should be able to see the new security group that we have created so this is the security group we have created and here you can see this is running in my default vpc or you can have a look at the tag so basically whatever we have done using terraform it is available here and the same security group we have attached it to our new ec2 instance so here if you can go to our instances you will see we have launched a new ec2 instance and this is pointing to my uh, new security group that we have created so here under security you should be able to see that sorry not this one this instance you should be able to see that we are using the terraform security group okay so that's basically what your data source block is so at any point if you want to refer the existing uh, resources if you want to fetch the information about the existing resources we can make use of the data source block so this way uh, you can fetch the information dynamically and you don't have to hard code the values you don't have to make use of any static values so even if something changes um, in the aws console uh, because we're using the data source block it will dynamically fetch the new information for us depending on the uh, uh, filter that we are applying it will fetch the necessary information so that's the first example for the data source uh, block. In the next session, uh, we will look at another example for the data source uh, block as to how we can uh, make use of the data source block. That's it for this uh, session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.